One of the fun ways I reverse the signs of aging is to occasionally do a morning spa routine. At the age of 63, it seems to get more important to me to fit these days into my schedule. I'm Glory B, and you might have found me and my channel through other anti-aging or osteoporosis solution videos. This is an extended morning spa routine video where I'll show you a few products I'm using to reverse the signs of aging and how I'm using them. Now, being an extended time of my day, it's also designed to reduce stress. We can all use some stress reduction. All the products shown, including the makeup I'm wearing now, are listed in the description box below the video and in the first comment below the video. Make sure to tap the subscribe button and then tap the little bell to get a soft notification whenever I post a new video. Later after filming the morning spa, I'm going to do a deep conditioning on my hair, so I'll just brush it for now. I'll get my hair out of the way with this cute Maysama headband. If you've ever been washing your face and had water run down your wrist and arms, then you'll love these wrist wash bands that stop the water from traveling down your arms. In the morning, I only have the skincare products on my face that I applied the night before, so I like to use my silicone face wash device from Numi. I'm using a small amount of the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser and applying it right to the brush area of the device. It powers on and I massage my face with it. The Numi brand is really expensive, so I've listed other brands for you that are more affordable. After rinsing the cleanser off my face, my skin feels really smooth. Instead of fully drying my face right away, I'm going to use an exfoliator next, which needs a wet face. The Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish is my choice. I use a small amount and apply it to my entire face. It has a little bit of scrubbiness to the touch. After lightly massaging it on my skin, I wait for two minutes and then rinse it off. My next spa day product is a Gua Sha Massage. And for this, I'm using the Mesama Beyond Stone Gua Sha LED Facial Massager. I'll apply a bit of gel on my skin first to get some slip. The Gua Sha Facial Massage can help to reduce facial tension, reduce inflammation, increase microcirculation, and improve lymphatic drainage. Now this device has several levels of massage power to choose from, as well as heat, and I like it warm. The stone contours to your face as you draw it up your cheek area or the jawline. I also like to use it on my neck for lymphatic drainage. I'm due for some lip care now, so I'll apply my favorite unscented lip balm, the Nivea Moisture Lip Care. On top of that, I'll apply the City Beauty Lip Oil. Now that my lips are hydrated, it's time to pay attention to the under eye area. For that, I'm using the Dermatology Brightening Eye Masks. The jar of masks comes with a small spatula to lift them out. They're coated in a hydrating serum. Then I'm ready for some red light therapy, and for that, I'm using the Current Body Neck and Deck Perfector. This attaches with Velcro around the neck and sits on my chest. It stays turned on for 10 minutes and then turns off automatically. I can either rest or read during the 10 minutes. When I remove the eye mask, I pat the area with the remaining serum. Now I'm ready for a full face hydrating mask. I'm using the Medicube Super Sika Daily Quick Mask. It comes in a tightly sealed container. I use the plastic tweezers to pull out one mask. After unfolding it, I apply it to my face. While the mask does its work, I'm going to give my hands some attention. I'm really loving red light therapy, so for my hands, I'm using the Current Body LED Hand Perfector device. After washing my hands, I turn on the device and slip my hands into it. It's slightly warm inside. 
I've only been using the hand perfecter for one week, so I'm eager to see the results after a month or two and report back on my channel. After 10 minutes, it turns off automatically. Now it's time to remove the facial mask. I leave the leftover serum on my face and smooth the serum with my fingers to get it evenly distributed. Next, I'm going to apply three serums that do great work on my skin. These are powerhouse products that I don't want to be without. Starting with vitamin C serum, which is great for smoothing fine lines and brightening the skin over time. I'm using an older bottle from Timeless, which I use to decant because now I buy their larger four ounce bottle. This brand of vitamin C serum is more liquid, which I like because it absorbs into the skin quickly. Because it's more liquid, I need about four or five drops. After applying the vitamin C serum to my face, I'm focused on my eye area next. The City Beauty Eye Revive Firming Serum helps to reduce the look of fine lines by hydrating the eye area. The serum's advanced polymers create a taut finish within a few minutes. The packaging tube dispenses a bit of hydrating serum from the ceramic end of the tube and I apply it right to the skin under my eyes. The ceramic portion of the packaging is cool to the touch. The next serum I apply is a hyaluronic acid serum, and this Matrixyl 3000 from Timeless is typically the one I reach for. I only need a few drops today. This serum is a favorite because it has anti-aging properties and collagen building ingredients. The hyaluronic acid helps my skin to maintain optimal hydration. It works well when paired with a moisturizer or a sunscreen with moisturizer. Since it's daytime, I'm applying my most important skincare product of the day, which is sunscreen. One of my favorites is the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Daily Moisturizing Lotion applied all over my face and neck. It's a mineral-based sunscreen and its active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It also doubles as a moisturizer, so I don't need to apply moisturizer in the morning when I use this sunscreen. I took all of my supplements before filming, so now I'm ready for breakfast. It's a nice day outside, so I'll have a bowl of berries and bananas with almond milk, along with some tea, probably one of my favorite flavored teas, such as almond cookie. Now that I put on some makeup, you can see close up that I look as refreshed as I feel. I also did the deep conditioning of my hair off camera to make sure my highlighted hair doesn't get dry. Check out all products in the description box and then check out one of my other videos by tapping its image on the right side of the screen and I'll see you in the next video.